Is it just me, or is finding an easy solution for top-down shots is not as easy as it should be? I mean, you've got dedicated rigs, or you can build your own, you can try to use a tripod, good luck with that. Or, what I'm about to show you is the most simple and easy to use yet budget-friendly setup I could come up with. So without further ado, let's check out my go-to top-down view lightning and camera setup, but first, Intro. What's up everyone, Peter here. No spoilers here, my setup consists of a budget-friendly newer C-Stand, an Emeron 100X with a 60x90 softbox and an Elgato Magic Mount with a simple Orca Swiss ball head. I give you the reveal why I chose the newer C-Stand at the end of the video, but let's start with the light. The Amaran 100X is, well, a 100W bicolor LED fixture, quite budget friendly at 266 euros. With a stunning brightness, flexible color temperature, and you can control it with the Sidos Link app. It perfectly aligns with the Aperture line of fixtures and can be used way beyond being a top-down light, making it ideal for content creators, portrait photographers, and basically any kind of video production. When it comes to lighting, output is like horsepower. As I said, the Amaran 100X is a 100W COB LED output, which produces shockingly twice as much illuminance than the 100W tungsten Fresnel light. It also features a 0-100% dimming control. Does color accuracy matter to you? If it does, show your love by smashing that like button and share your go-to lights in the comments. So, the thing is that in real life the color of lights is rarely the same. For example, a vintage lamp is just much warmer than a winter sky. And I know we've all been there when shooting at a single location and there were so many different color temperatures that, that are just so difficult to match. The Emeron 100X solves this with a simple turn of a dial that lets you set any color temperature between 2700 Kelvin to 6500 Kelvin. This flexibility guarantees not only easy color matching, but also the ability to think creatively, making each scene look best. Going deeper, we all have experienced tinting or green hues. If you haven't, you will. If you did, let me know down in the comments what happened and what did you do to avoid it or to solve it. We all need accurate lightning. Aperture and Amaran lights provide just that. Scoring 65 plus TLC and CRI accuracy is guaranteed. Talking about numbers, the Amaran 100X puts out a 2400 lux with a bare bulb and 22500 lux with a reflector at 1 meter at 2700 Kelvin and that 5600 Kelvin, 3700 lux bare bulb, and 34300 lux with reflector. Hey, I just realized we haven't done a proper unboxing and checked the build quality, but if you watched so far, I'm sure speed and portability matters to you as well. Even though the Amaran line is plastic, it is quite durable and only weighs 3.5 kilograms. It has a built-in fan to ensure that the LED remains cool no matter how long your shoot goes on. Aperture and Amaran COB lights use a Bowens mount and the 100X has an umbrella holder as well, which means infinite options when it comes to light modification. You'll find the perfect accessory whether you need soft light, hard light, or even a spotlight. For the top-down view, I went with the rectangular softbox that we'll talk about in a minute. But before, let's talk about the nine built-in lighting effects such as uh, paparazzi, fireworks, lightning, pulsing, all with adjustable color temperature. On top of the high quality fixed light output, I find this super cool for uh, product videography when I am uh, coming up with creative ways of showcasing a product. Of course, I need an easy way to control them. Well, 
The screen with the two knobs are just straightforward. When I have uh, positioned it up on the C-stand, it is literally impossible to reach them or would make it so much work and time. This is where my favorite lighting app uh, comes into the picture, Sidle Slink. Thanks to its mesh technology, every light in the Aperture and Amaran series will automatically connect. You can not only control the basic functions with ease, but create scenes and presets. Okay, now let's talk about the softbox of my choice for the top-down view, which is the Aperture Light 60x90. It has a standard bover mount and uh, its rectangular form factor transforms the hard point source into a soft key light. It includes two diffusion strengths, one and a half stops and two and a half stops, plus an inner baffle for fine tuning intensity. It also comes with a 45 degree grid allowing to control the spread directly to the subject. Weights only 1.2 kilograms and comes with a soft case and has four rod construction, which is the only con for me since I hate assembling those. To mount my camera, I attached Elgato's flex arm that gives me the flexibility to position my camera directly where I want it to be. Forged from steel, it can hold my point and shoot Sony ZV-1 firmly, but I wouldn't trust it with heavier cameras and lenses. Well, in a top-down scenario, I wouldn't, but in vertical, it is fine. At the end, I use a cheap ball head, of course, with Arca Swiss, since that is my go-to quick release system for all my gear. I covered this in another video, so if you want to know what is the easiest way to swap between gears, check it out. Also, I saved the central part, the C-stand for less, since I have a dedicated review about it. So. If you want to learn more about why C-stands are awesome and so versatile, about the limitless scenarios you can leverage them, make sure to check this video out. But for this one, that's it from me. If you like this video, please do give it a big thumbs up, subscribe and smash the notification bell as well if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, since I have tons of good stuff coming up and I can promise you, you are not gonna regret it. Thanks for watching. I hope to catch you in the next one, maybe in this. Bye.